Long, the football chatter has centered around this game and these talented teams. Which one will outwit the other in a stadium both packed and passionate? So many questions to be answered on a day of destiny. It's Newcastle United, they face Manchester City, and it's live right here on EA TV. Hello and a warm welcome to a stadium that always oozes passion, St. James's Park. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Newcastle United facing Manchester City. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality. Some interesting match. Hold on! Well, he's placed it wide. Really close shave. This is the lineup for the home team. Well, it's a 4 3 3 with two out and out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. And still looking for space. Nicely saved. So the corner played into the box. Well, full marks to him for that header, but the goalkeeper did his job. Another corner conceded. What can they do with this one? And just over the crossbar. And a look at the starting 11 for Manchester City. Everson is the goalkeeper. Bernardo Silva plays with Rodri in central midfield. And the lone striker today is Erling Haaland. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. That's a nice looking ball. And he needed a bit more downward direction on the header. Good piece of closing down. Holland. Real chance. And danger still. And an effective clearance. Well, he's gone back to give the free kick, the referee here. He tried to play advantage, but it didn't accrue. Sven Botman. And on the ball is Cher. Dan Byrne. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Oh, thwarted there. And what a piece of defending we've just witnessed. Nicely timed tackle. Trippier. Able to skip past his man. Oh, might be. A goal to give them a 1 0 lead. An excellent value for that advantage, you've got to say. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. The keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. So the action continues, and City looking to offer a swift response to that setback. Manuel Akanji, an important interception. Wonderfully weighted pass. Well, the cross came over, and a real need to get rid of the ball here. Foden. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Almiron. And no more time left. That will conclude the first half here at St. James's Park.
The ball is moving again. City trailing going into the second half. Will they come up with the right response? Really good wide play. And Manchester City looking for inspiration at this corner. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Playing it short. And the referee says penalty. And to add insult to injury, it's a booking, Stuart. Well, I agree with the penalty. I'm not quite so sure about the yellow card, though. Chance to equalise here. And in it goes, as coolly as you like. Never in any doubt from the spot. Let's take another look. He deceives the goalkeeper really well here by getting to dive one way before placing it into the opposite side. A really good penalty. So back underway following the equaliser. Almiron. On to Silva. Holland. City moving the ball forwards. What can they do from here? A real opening now. Oh, the goal was staring him in the face, but he couldn't avail himself of the opportunity, Stuart. Well, he should do better there. Everything was good until the finish. Disappointing for the Magpies to give it away like that. Cross fired over. Danger averted for now. Almiron. Oh, a very fine header, but it wouldn't go in for him. A change in the offing for City. Substitution for Newcastle United. Coming off the pitch, number 33, Dan Byrne. Delivering it. And the opportunity goes a begging. He decided to hit that with power rather than going for placement. Coming off the pitch. Number 36, Sean Longstaff, to be replaced by number 32, Elliot Anderson. Manuel Akanji. Now with Silva. Just failing to hit the target with his pass, and it'll be a throw in. it back oh a goal the error seized upon and the goalkeeper left with egg on his face well here it is again and you have to say he looks so uncomfortable with the ball at his feet he's cost his team a goal here Dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Rodri. Here's Kovacic. Gvardiol. Diesch. Excellent use of advantage from the referee in City's favour. Ruben Diesch. Well, there's still scope for late drama here. Five minutes left and just one goal between. The defender put in the challenge and it might be a red card. And the referee didn't have much choice. A sending off it is. Yeah, no complaints there. That's a sending off all day long.
Long way out. Well, real quality all around. How about that free kick? And how about the save? So the corner played into the box. Clearance left a bit to be desired. Bernardo Silva. Oh, tremendous block. Kovacic. This could square the game. Can they put it away? Well, this late corner could represent their last chance to equalise. And there's the delivery, clearing it away. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. Well, he's had his name taken by the referee. Well, he knew he was going to get booked. It's a poor tackle, really. And that will be that, the final whistle here, and Newcastle fans around the world will be delighted with the outcome. What did you make of their performance? Well, Derek, it was very competitive. Chances at both ends, but I feel they were the better team.